and welcome to my 2017 craft room tour. Can you believe it's been almost two years since I've done a tour of my craft room? So I thought I would do a quick video, probably won't be quick, I'm saying quick, but it probably won't be, um, of my craft room. I did do a big purge of my craft room a few months ago and this is pretty much what's left. There's been a few changes since my last video. First, and I will point those things out as I go, but I do want to say with my purge of my craft room, I do find that there are some things that I wish I didn't get rid of. And so anyway, <laughs> I'm slowly kind of repurchasing, but I'm being more cautious about the things I purchase a lot. With that, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to first give you a quick overview of my craft room. It is laid out the same. However, you will see lots of differences, but as far as the decor, the color of the decor has changed a little bit, especially with the bins that I use in my storage units. I am still using the Target units, however I did switch out to larger ones and I did change my craft table because the other one just took up way too much space in this room. And I also added a couple of different units. I still have my Alex drawers. I added a smaller Alex drawer and I also added a unit from Target. So, so we're going to go over the right side of my craft room. I am going to just kind of give you a quick rundown of what's in all the spaces and then we're going to go in and dive in all of the drawers. So this very first unit right here is right as you walk up the stairs to my craft loft. This is the nine drawer Alex unit that comes from Ikea and on top of it I have my We Are Memory Keepers typewriter. Next to that is a smaller uh, Alex drawer. It's the um, five, I think it's the five drawers, what you would call it, that sits right next to my bigger one. However, and then we have my built-in bookcase. This is the unit that my brother built and that didn't change too much. And then next to that is my um, threshold by, from Target. It's a threshold like cabinet. It's got a big drawer at the bottom and then the two glass doors where I keep uh, lots of stamping and die cutting and paper storage. So on the top of this storage unit is this candle that I believe I may have gotten from Target. I have a glass photo frame of Ethan from his last birthday, a little love canvas that I picked up at, I believe, TJ Maxx. This photo frame right here is got no picture in it. And then over here is one of those fridge bin containers. This is the long thin one that I have some recent purchases in and things that I plan on, on using very soon. So that is pretty much all I have on the top. One great thing about this unit is it fits perfectly in this corner. So this is my cabinet that I got from Target. I did have to order this online. It's not something that they sell on the store. But I love this cabinet. It is absolutely perfect for stamp storage, die storage, and paper storage. The shelves are adjustable. And um, let's just go ahead and I will dive in and show you what is inside this cabinet. On the top shelf here, I have two bins. This one is my um, die storage bin. And I have everything in here from just the couple of the um, thin or thick Biggs dies that I have, as well as all of the other dies that I, I did keep from my D-Stash. I didn't really get rid of too many of my dies, especially the ones that are neutral and can be used for various things. And then over here is my stamp storage. These bins came from, I believe, TJ Maxx. No, it came from, they came from Michaels, and I probably got them when they were on 40% off with the 20% off coupon. I still use my um, envelope storage, which I do have a video posted about my stamp and die storage and how I store things. Um, the only thing I'm doing now is just making new dividers and changing them up because this, this bin itself is different from the units I used before. On the second shelf is where I keep my full sheet paper storage as well as my six by six paper pads and little uh, loose leaf. So this over here is all of my colored cardstock. I mainly have right now uh, paper tray ink. I don't have much Stampin' Up! Store, uh, papers left, but paper tray ink has always been one of my favorites um, for colored cardstock. Over on this side, I have my neutrals. I've got my, my cream colors, my craft colors, my 110 pound full sheets, and then I also have some uh, basic colors that are in the, uh, I think they're called job, job pockets. 
Um, I don't plan on separating these all out. I did do this before, but I'm fine with it. I feel I can see everything better if I just have it out. And then I have, like I said, this little basket that has what I do have left of my 6x6 paper pads, as well as some new ones that I just purchased for Christmas. I've got a package of Tim Holtz watercolor paper here, and a, I believe this is a watercolor, Strathmore watercolor book. So that's what I have on my second shelf. On this third shelf, I have my 12 by 12 cardstock. And then on the side here, I have a couple of books, like my um, some watercolor books. This is an acetate um, sheet that I use if I need to mount some stamps onto a piece of acetate because it is acid free. I have pre-cut cardstock. This is my 80 pound in the front. On the side here are my 110 pound card bases. And then these are all neutral colors. And then over here is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card stock that I cut down that can be used for, um, you know, card bases or die cutting or anything like that. So I pre done these. I did label the different sections with the different colors. So I know what the colors are in here and I keep them in these fridge bin containers. In the very bottom drawer, this is the nice size drawer. I keep a whole bunch of these bigger size bins that I believe I picked up at the dollar store. My label makers in here. I've got some um, miscellaneous pamphlets from different machines, extra ink, as well as some camera gear and electronic gear, and also some candles uh, warmers for my kid, or some scent pods for my candle warmer. So this is a great drawer. Just you know, it's nice and deep but it can become a mess really quickly, especially when I pull something out and then just throw it back in. And since I'm already on the floor, I thought I would just go ahead and tell you all about my bookcase. This is the built-in bookcase that we put in when we redid this room. On the bottom here, I have my sewing machine, which will be coming out. These two hat bins, there's actually three of these. One of them's on the other side of my room. I got these at Ikea a while ago, and I keep my sewing supplies in here. So this one's got a lot of uh, my thread and needles and um, some like little rulers. I do have a big ruler that it's not in here. I keep that actually in my storage room of my craft room. And then I have this big one that has, let me just open the top up so I can show you. It has all of my thread and I really like this, um, this thread, which I can never pronounce. It's Guterman, I think it is. Um, you can get these at, uh, at Joann's. And then I have, look check this out it's a film case do you remember these guys um and in here is where i actually keep some pins and and um, needles for if i need to do a quick sew of a button or something like that so i keep these two bins right on this shelf um i keep shoved right in between my uh target unit here and my bookcase this big fiskers um cutting board, rotary cutting board, which I've had for years, and I love this cutting board. It's fantastic, and I keep it around for when I'm doing um, a bunch of die cutting or a bunch of paper cutting at one time, because I like this, because you could do a couple sheets at a time. This back right, box right here is my card box. These are all completed cards, and um, honestly, I think I need to beef up my stash, because it's, there's not much left in there. So that just sits inside this box, which is also from Ikea. You can get these great boxes and they're fairly inexpensive. I don't know the size of that. I want to say it may be like a shoe size box. I'm not hundred percent sure. The next shelf up is where I keep my Cello Cameo and that just sits right here. However, I have misplaced my plugs for this. So I have to search high and low. I'm sure they're in a bin somewhere. I just got to locate them. I'm not hundred percent sure where I where they are. So that sits here. I have this glass pumpkin that I've had probably, I think I got last year at TJ Maxx. This is my, one of my fall decorations for my craft room. I have a picture of Scott, Ethan and I, um, on our family trip to Virginia this past summer. And then I also have some of these awesome hardbound, uh, classic books. The next shelf up is my kind of knicky knack shelf. I have this cute little puppy mug that I have a mug that I picked up um, for our vacation as well as this right here when we went to um, Virginia this past summer. I picked this up. And then this little jar right here 
has lots of crazy stuff. Um, I've got a little book lovers pin in here that I got when I went to New York this past summer and a whole bunch of essential oils that I have up here because I like to make, um, well, I like to do the blends, but I have especially peppermint because two years ago I made gifts for my staff at work, of like a hand scrub. So I keep those there. I have my big 12 by 12 mink here because I do a few uh, projects yeah, with this that I would never get rid of this mink because it's come in handy when I've had to do a couple of projects for people that are retiring and I do word um, word frames that have been you know foiled with the mink and then I have this bird over here that I don't know where I got him from but he's been here for a while so that was my built-in bookcase then right next to that is my little Alex so on top of this unit I keep this little paint or plant holder which I think that's what it is a plant pot and it's great for storing things like markers and paintbrushes I have my paintbrushes in here right now I do have a set of markers that I think about throwing I'm thinking about throwing in here my Crayola ones that I've been playing with for my bullet journal I have my um, pencil sharpener that I use for sharpening my Prismacolor pencils this lamp which I think I got at TJ Maxx this one is, this right here is a Yankee Candle Warmer. It's an electric one, and it has these little scent pods in them that are fantastic. I've had that scent pod in there for at least two or three years, and I turn this thing on almost every single time I come upstairs. I tried not to burn candles up here because one night I did leave a candle burning all night long, and I was so mad at myself for doing that. So I generally don't burn candles. I'll take, I have a couple of candles up here and I'll just take the lids off just to get the scent in here. But other than that, I try not to burn candles anymore. So we're just going to start at the top drawer and work our way down. This top drawer is kind of like my miscellaneous supplies drawer. I've got extra post-its, some of my favorite pens that I use for my bullet journal. I have washi tape that I've been using in my bullet journal, plus my stamps that I use for um, return address, as well as my stamp that I use for the back of my cards. And then I also have in the back just some post notes and miscellaneous stuff back there. I also have this tape runner in here because um, I believe this tape runner is no longer being made, so I have it in there. I have one more refill for that one. This next drawer is my pen drawer and marker drawer and oh I have way so this is more pens than I really have this is just like the stuff that I use the most believe it or not um, I even have like a chalk pen my friction pens that have Prisma pens uh, micron pens uh, these Faber-Castell pens which I'm not too fond of the bigger size I like the finer point but I keep those because I use them a lot during in my bullet journal which I've been doing for the past couple months and I'm loving I also have these Crayola markers that's what I was thinking about putting up in here because I I do use those sometimes for highlighting in my in my journal and then I also have these uh, mild liner markers this drawer is really simple it's just copy paper it's nothing you know there's not even in the back there's it's all open back there so there's more I could put more copy paper this one is notebooks and clips I do have a tendency to love notebooks so I've got a bunch of notebooks in here towards the back I have some this tray that has all different types of clips and ribbons and such in it and then I have this giant container of clips as well these are ones that I've been collecting over the years and probably do not need that many paper clips as well as a um, arc uh, stapler punch in the back I can't pull it out because the stand to the um, camera is right there and I believe there's another thing of clips back here so that's what's in this drawer so it's like my notebook and paper clip collection this bottom drawer is kind of my travel drawer I've got my um, laptop cover a old address book that shouldn't be in there it should be in another drawer these clear pouches I um, these two um, linen pouches from chic sparrow for my travelers notebooks as well as a whole bunch of other types of bags and stuff for from when I'm on the road and I also have even these studio calico pouches that hold studio calico kits that I have used and then just kept the pouches um, in there 
So again, I'm going to start from the bottom up with this because I am um, already on the floor. Next to my shorter Alex unit and my taller Alex unit are these two pumpkins. They're pa the paper mache pumpkins that I bought um, on sale, I believe from Joann's for 70% off um, about a week or two ago. And my plan was to paint these and get them decorated for the holidays, but I don't think that's going to happen. So they're going to probably go into my altar bin, which you'll see later to be done next year. This bottom drawer is all ribbon. I don't have a ton of ribbon anymore. I did get rid of a lot of it because I don't use a lot of it. If I do use it, it's seam binding and I use a lot of it. I have a cream color and a white color. And if I need something in a different color, I can easily dye those um, colors. I have my twine, which I use a ton of. I don't have any more Baker's twine. I wasn't using it. I have some ribbon because I was working on the uh, making clips for my binders with all those paper clips. And then this was just left over from a project I did for something else. And then I did recently just purchase the stitched ribbon from um, Paper Tray Ink in holiday colors because I have going to be working on a December daily. So, so I keep all my ribbon in the bottom drawer of my taller Alex. This next drawer is empty, so that's lots of storage space that I don't need to fill up. And so is this next drawer. This next drawer is my coloring drawer, and I have I you know one of the things I did get rid of that I regret are my Zig Clean Color brush markers and instead of buying the big set I had before which I didn't use a lot of the colors I went with a smaller set and this is gonna be absolutely perfect for me I have my um, painters tape in here I've got my gamisol for working with my um, my Prismacolor pencils my Tombow markers which I use mainly for working in my bullet journal but I definitely want to start using them for card making I've got my Tombow chart, which I have colors, a couple colors that are missing, and I, I think I know where they are. And then I have this case right here, which is all of my Prismacolor pencils. So I love this case. It's very handy, and I keep my little color chart in here, as well as my uh, pencils, my blender pencils that I just got and was playing with in one of my videos. And this is great for, for coloring, and I like to color with with pencils more than I do um, markers. But so the next section is wood veneers. Although I don't really use these as much as I did when they first came out and they were very popular, I really just keep these because I do use them in my Project Life album and I have so many of them and I keep getting them in kits and one of these days, this drawer is just gonna explode and say no more wood veneers. So I need to come up with a creative way to use all these and probably if I went back and did my last 20 years of Project Life, I'm sure I'll probably use all these. However, I don't think I'm gonna get there in this lifetime of doing 20 years of Project Life. You never know though. Up from that is my embossing powder drawer. Again, I got downsized this quite a bit and only stayed with colors and things I know I'm gonna use. One of them that is missing is my liquid gold, so I'm gonna to have to repurchase that one. But the rest of these are pretty much ones that I'm going to definitely use like gold, silver, Actually, I don't have, yeah, gold, silver, white, clear, and even a black. I have my little um, embossing buddy in here for the static, and then I have a heat tool in here as well. So my next drawer is my sequins drawer, as well as my um, few of the Nouveau colors. I bought a ton of these when they first came out, and I decided that I just needed to stick with basic colors. I do have one or two or three more colors that I want to get, like red, um, green just for Christmas time but that is all I'm not getting any more of those I don't need any more I have a clear I have a white I have a black and neutral colors I kept a couple pink uh, pink and blue and then I also have my sequins back here in one of these storage units that I got containers that I got from Joann's my next drawer up is pretty much the same as it was I think before in my last video it's my adhesive drawer if not I may have switched um, this is all my extras. I've got my glue gun, um, extra dimensional adhesive, score tape, fine line, uh, multi matte medium, extras of that. So this drawer is actually a lot less than it's ever been. It's only because I've been using it instead of buying new. And then my very top drawer here is all tags. I got rid of all of the simple, you know, the um, ones that come with kits and just kept basic ones that I could alter and do things with. I have more back here. 
and I have these um, Avery tabs that I use in Project Life. And then on the very top of my Alex is my We Are Memory Keepers typewriter that I got on sale at Michael's a few months ago for doing Project Life. So moving around the room, this is my, um, right here is the staircase that comes up to my craft loft. I have still my photos on the wall that have all of my favorite photos. My little chalkboard that I had to drop down a little bit just to remind me to turn the heat off in here or turn it down in the winter. And then this big white box that's um, up in the top screen there, that is my studio lights. That's the lights I turn on when I'm filming. And it is dark outside right now and that makes this room plenty bright enough um, to film. And then this is the door that leads to my storage room. That sign right there is a sign that I picked up at Joann's for 70% off. This was just within the past couple of weeks. And I used my Cricut to make the sign, uh, you know, do the different layers. And I did that with a rose gold vinyl, metallic vinyl, and I absolutely love it. So that's why it kind of looks like it's glowing. On the top, I did Happy Fall. And look how thin that print or that cutting is and that was with the Cricut Maker. Can you believe that? I absolutely in love with the new Cricut Maker. I have Thomas Family and established the year that Scott and I got married. Below this, in front of my attic door, or my storage door is really what I'm calling it, is my Razcock cart. And this cart is strictly for Project Life. I don't do Project Life a ton, but when I do work on it, I could just roll this cart over to my desk. So so next up is my Calyx, which to me will always be called the Expedite. This is the, the unit from Ikea. I've had this for several years and I've used it standing up, laying down um, the past couple of times that I've been showing my videos has always been standing up. So, and it fits perfectly right next to the door that leads into our storage room. On the top, I have my little um, spinny guy up there for my Stampin' Up inks. I absolutely love Stampin' Up. I'm not a Stampin' Up demonstrator anymore. Decided to give that up and I just uh, keep all of those inks. It doesn't matter if they're retired. I love them. Um, next to that is just glass tray that I think I'm going to be taking downstairs. I have it um, up here and I was using it on my desk but decided to get rid of it. And then I have a little ceramic bowl there that has my remote control for my TV and my Apple TV. So the first two sections of this are the Stampin' Storage stamp uh, pad holders. This one has all of my paper tray, paper tray ink inks, and this one has my extra of my Stampin' Up! inks that don't fit in my caddy above, and then my Distress Oxide inks. Yes, I did sell my Distress Oxide inks, and now I'm recollecting them. However, I am only sticking to colors that I know I'm definitely gonna use, so I'm not gonna be purchasing every single one of them, just ones that I know I like and I'm going to be use, using in cards. But I love this, this unit. They fit perfectly into the Calyx uh, unit, and if you have the Target versions of these it'll fit in there as well so great little storage system and i like the way it looks nice and clean and simple so these two bins are bins that i picked up at target they're the ones that fit with their cube storage but these are 13 by 13 bins same size as the ones you would get at ikea and if you're watch for sales you can get them on sale which is a nice little bonus i have four of these in this this print and then i have more solid colors um, the little tag holders that I have here also come from Target. They're, I think, Room Essentials is the brand. You can find them in the aisle with all the organization. And they just have a little clip that you just slip onto and you can label and it just sticks right in there. And it works with other types of bins they have as well. So I have two here. This one is my Tim Holtz Inkers and Daubers. And then this one is Miscellaneous Supplies. So let's just kind of move in and I'll show you what's inside these bins. Is my Daubers that I use, my um, Distress Daubers. I, the ones I do have, I am marking with the name of the color. I'm using these with my Distress Oxide. And I do need to pick up one or two extras just to have. So I have a little bin of these um, right here. These are just one of those bins that you can get at um, Target again watch for sales on those and I have extra little sponge dabber tops I do have um, have recollected because again this was something that I did get rid of and kind of regretted getting rid of it is my um, distress ink inks and um, 
I definitely like these for watercoloring and, and doing that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, slowly recollecting those. Again, I am not getting ones that um, I don't really like. I'm going to stick with the things that I really like the best. And I am putting them back, you know, getting the, the storage containers for those as well. And then I have another little basket. Again, this is a dollar. I think this is a dollar store basket. And these are all my Distress inks that I've had for years. And I did hold on to these because I knew I was going to, if I needed to do any seam binding or changing the colors of ribbon, then I had those around. So... However, I don't buy new versions of that. I just kind of, what I have, I have. So moving over to my next basket is my miscellaneous supplies. It's got a little bit of, um, you know, a couple of things in here. I have acrylic inks. I do have a wood stain that I had thought about staining the top of my work desk with. I have a bunch of these foam daubers or foam brushes that I hold on to if I'm going to be working on any kind of wood projects. Down here is that, you, if you guys have been following me for a while. Diamond Dust, which was really popular way back when, is now becoming back popular for using for shaker cards. So I have this from doing um, crystals on top of flowers. And then I have my big chomper, corner chomper. No, um, what do you call this thing? Crocodile. Big bite, isn't that what it is? All right, so that's the, that unit. So moving down onto the next set of shelving is my albums. I have my 2017 album. This one started. It's got half of the first half of the year in here. Um, I don't know if you guys want me to do any kind of review, but again, it's something it's working on. It's a work in progress. Um, I have an extra album just in case I need an extra one. I'm not really 100% sure because I'm keeping it really simple and not filled with a lot of stuff. I have a little extra of these um, these pockets that I received in the Ellie Edwards kits in, which I use for memorabilia storage. It's going to be stuck right into the back of my album. This is a Project Life album that I've had for a long time. Not a big fan of it as far as the style is concerned, but it's great storage for all of my extra Project Life pages that I'm not currently using, especially some of those different designs. I mainly stick with one design, but all of the other designs are in here. This right here is a picture frame that I didn't have a place to stick it. And then right next to that uh, is a botanical line drawing book, which I tried to get into doing some doodling and discovered I can't draw, but I really try and I like doodling even though I'm not 100% you know, great at it. And then this section over here, these um, albums are my completed Project Life. This one is from 2012. This one's 2013. It's one of three, but it turned out just to be one because I didn't get through the entire year. Doesn't mean I won't get there, but for right now, that's all it is. Um, like I said, this is both 2012. I just haven't labeled them. And then this one is my 2015 December Daily that I did. Um, you know, many years, you know, those the three years ago or two years ago. I did not do one for 2016. Isn't that a, look how big my kid is. Uh, I didn't do one for 2016 because it was right after my dad passed away. And I just really, you know, we, we just, I, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling doing the December daily because it was just an odd year for Christmas. And, but we started new traditions and we're really excited about Christmas this year. And then we're going to move down to the next set of storage bins. These are the last two on um, my Calyx unit. I have a big bin of yarn. I like to knit and crochet, especially when it co gets colder outside. So I have some recent purchases here because Scott requested a scarf. And I have an, um, picked up some yarn at AC Moore because I saw a really cute pattern for a uh, afghan that I want to do. And then I have these bow makers, which I used um, to make a foam pom-pom wreath and actually put that at work. And unfortunately then it fell off the door and snapped in half. And then this one is my altered bin. These are things that I'm going to alter. I have some new stuff in here that I just recently purchased. Like this is from Michael's that I, I used a coupon on and I plan on doing some lettering vinyling on here for iron on vinyl for a gift. I've got one of these little crates that I got on sale. I believe it was 70% off dirt with the fall stuff. I just picked up this sign for 70% off at Joann's because it got a holiday sticker on it for Halloween. So I got that as a good price. 
I've got a little board in here that I picked up, I think last year or the year before last at Target's Dollar Spot. And then my last thing I have in here, which is, if I can get it out, is this jar that I actually plan on um, altering and putting our dog's name on it for his, as we call in our house, his cookies, which is just his dog treats. So that is my eight section Calic unit. We're gonna go ahead and move over to my workspace. All right, so I'm just gonna do a quick rundown of what's on top of my workspace. This space goes down the whole length of my room. It's the same setup I had before, except for the wood on the top has been painted with a chalk paint in a gray color instead of the stained with the wood color. I'm gonna start in this little corner, which kind of sits back in here, if I can get the camera in the way there. I have in the corner, I have a, um, this, this right here is just one of those wall cabin wall files. And in there, I just keep some personal papers. I have them turned around so you can't see them as well as some file folders. I have, um, on my desk here is this lamp that Scott got me for some holiday. I forget what it is, uh, which holiday it was. I think it might've been my birthday last year or two years ago. I have a little metal brass metal sorter right here that has my rifle paper company tablets in it which I, I love those tablets i've got this little sign right here that is waiting for a photo i usually have a photo on it but i kind of took the one off because it's been on there forever and i need just to pull out a new one this board that's on the wall i think i might have gotten it either home goods or tj maxx we just recently got a home goods so we're very excited about that and on there is where I have my chart for my Cricut Easy Press, which I just picked up, so stay tuned for that. And then it's got a little clip on it, so I could just keep clipping things on there, and I can also put photos. Then also on my desk is one of those little paper sorters that you can get. I think I got this at Target. It keeps my um, We Are Mammy Capers calendar in here that I use for planning videos as well as extra file folders in my stamps. So I keep that right there. And then on the wall are some blank frames. Yes, I know they're blank. They're there because I'm waiting for Ethan's school pictures to come. And I just happened to come across those in my storage room and thought they would look really nice hanging in the wall. So I put them up as a placeholder. Then also on my desktop is the charger for my, my camera that I'm using. I have this little pencil holder that I got at TJ Maxx that has my initial on it. I keep, cause it's so big, I keep my hand cream in it and then some cute pencils and some other, you know, scissors and quick reach things that I want to have on hand. Then I also have on my desk a, I got, we had a set of these marble uh, coasters a while ago and I think I probably got that at TJ Maxx. And then I also have um, my clear tape and stapler and then as you go across there, that's also my computer, which we don't need to talk about that because it's not as exciting. And then right next to that in the wall is my, if you guys followed me, I think I may have done this on a blog post a while ago. This is my, um, my craft loft. This is my happy place sign that used to be on the door going into the storage room, but I took it off there because every time it fall off because the command hook was just not sticky enough to hold it up there. So it's actually nailed now into the wall so it won't fall off. I have my paper trimmer next to that on the counter, or the um, desktop. And then right next to that is the new, um, new to me, I think it's been out for a couple months, the Cricut Maker. And I will tell you, this thing is absolutely amazing. I've tried it once or twice so far and I am in love and can't wait to start do, doing more fabric. Uh, cutting with this. So I'm just going to start in this section and then work my way across and then we'll go to the bottom ones. So this top one is an empty one and it really, I can't even take it out. So whatever I do end up putting in here, I definitely need to make sure it's something that I don't need to pull the whole drawer out for. Underneath there is my Easy Press. This is the new Cricut Easy Press that I've been waiting forever to get my hands on. And Joanne's finally had it back in stock. Otherwise I was getting ready to order it online, but Joanne's finally had it back in stock. So I picked that up. 
So this is the next one, and this is one of the ones that I took the 13 by 13 slot and added the shelf. The shelf just goes in with pins on um, either side, and sits. the shelf just sits right on top of it. And it's a great way to maximize and use this space because some of those 13 by 13 bins are just too much for what you need storage for. So this bottom one, we're just going to start with my miscellaneous, has just weird miscellaneous things like, like pom-poms and a thing of chalk and some elastic and some wire that I always hold on to this wire because we use it for everything in our house, especially at Christmas time. Um, and coaster chalk, uh, coaster, chipboard coasters that I've had for like a hundred years that I think I ordered these from Paper Tray Ink. And one of these days I'm actually gonna use them for something. And this one's open and falling out. So, so that's kind of like a miscellaneous craft supply. So this basket right here is my fabric basket. I have more fabric in my storage room, but this um, just has like my newest things. Like I just can't look at that. That's Cricut. That's a Cricut one. And so I have those in here and then I did purchase the, for the Cricut Maker, the washable fabric pen because like I said, I am definitely going to try some sewing and making some projects. I have lots of ideas that I want to work on there. This next bin, I've had this bin for a long time. You guys probably remember this from even my older craft room, is just a wire basket that I picked up. And I'm using this for my December daily storage. I'm getting ready to do December daily. Scott and I are on vacation the week after Christmas and we plan on spending that week, at least I plan on spending that week, working on um, doing the my December daily. I picked up the L Studio uh, December daily kit. And then in the back here, I have my, um, I think this is a Week in the Life album, and I thought I was ordering a different one if I got this polka dot one, but it's going to be perfect for December Daily. I just need to pick up more pages, insert pages for this. So the bin so, underneath my Easy Press is actually my bin now for t-shirts, because uh, when I picked up Easy Press, the first thing Scott said to me was, can you make a t-shirt for me with my my logo on it? So in here are just a couple of t-shirts. I, you know, they're on sale. I think this week so I just picked up a black one a blue one and a teal colored one and that is just what's in there so this next one is my planner bin and in here I just have my chic sparrow my b6 chic sparrow I have an a5 which I keep downstairs in our main floor of our house that has all of my to-do list things in it and then I also have one of those little target baskets with all of my planner stamps that occasionally I will use when I'm planning. As you could probably tell, this basket that used to be filled with tons of stuff has been downsized to just these couple of things. I have a um, A5 binder, a carpe diem, that's a carpe diem planner. And I kept that around because if I switch back into a ring bound planner, then I have that. But as you can see, I did downsize that section quite a bit. And the next one over, is my storage for my mink supplies. I do have some of my film left over, my foil left over. I did sell a whole bunch of it, but I had multiple rolls in colors that I did not need. So I went ahead and purged and sold those during my craft room de-stash and only kept single, single um, where I only have one roll of each color instead of having two rolls of each color. So I got rid of all of those and then I also have a 6x6 six six mink machine in here. I like to have both of them for card making and then one for the bigger one for doing um, my frames that I do for when people retire. And then next to my desk area is my, I pulled this out from storage so it probably has dust on it, is my big uh, container of all of my Christmas related stuff that I've held down to. Um, as well as my December daily stuff from two years ago when the last time I did my December daily. So that is right there. So this is the other set of my um, target storage units. This is a six cube storage this unit. Is my Cuddlebug storage. I have my Cuddlebug here. And then I also have this little uh, Martha Stewart organizer that I picked up at Staples. It has my um, 3M post-it tape, masking tape, as well as my plates and my silicone mat is in here as well. So I'm keeping that um, just tucked back there in the back and then I have my cuddle bug sitting right on that shelf. So this one is my don't peek bin. I actually have this one here because I um, usually stick like 
Christmas presents or birthday present or something in here or if it's a project for a present that I'm working on. So I just named it my Don't Peek. Um, anyway, in here is a couple Christmas presents for Ethan. Shh. I don't have to worry about him watching, but he's a big Doctor Who fan, so I have a Doctor Who throw I'm going to do, as well as an ornament for him, because we, tradition that everybody gets a new ornament at Christmas. So that is right there. Let's, okay, so this is my Cricut bin. On the side of this, I have some of my old um, Cricut mats that I just have st stuck right into the side next to the bin and then I actually have a bin and this is the worst way to store these and I definitely have to find a different way but these are my current mats I have my silhouette mats in here as well as my new sewing mats and then my regular mat and I just stuck them in here for right now because I didn't have a place to hang them but I really do need to find a place to hang these because this is not a good way to keep them because they're gonna get all worked. Okay, my next two bins are um, this one right here is all felt I've had the paper tray ink felt forever this is like my favorite color right here that's all I have left of this one um, and I do have just some miscellaneous ones I bought these at Joann's because I want to try them in my uh, Cricut Maker and then I have some wool um, felt down the bottom as well that I got at Michael's. Again, that's just something to test out in the Cricut. So felt, and then the next one up is all vinyl. I have vinyl rolls, my um, recent purchases with buy one 50% off, plus Joann's had a 50% off all of Cricut accessories. So I went a little bit crazy. I tried to make sure that I was buying rolls that had the multiple colors in them. Um, this is the one I just used on that fall sign. This is the, the rose gold. I bought some transfer paper and then again some vinyl and stuff to start working on t-shirts. So that's my vinyl drawer and then I also put my, my little pick in here which I haven't opened yet. I just got that because I can't find my other The very one. bottom and bin on this unit is my is empty. It's got nothing in it. The next one up has my Big Shot which I still have and I absolutely love that Big Shot. I am like both of my two machines. And then, then the next drawer is my washi tape. Um, oh boy. Yeah, I've got a problem with washi tape. I know. And I didn't get rid of any of it. I held on to a lot of it. So that's my washi tape. So the last thing we need to do in my craft room is to go over my workspace. And I have a totally new work desk than I did in my previous craft room tour. So the last thing I want to show you in my craft room is my new work desk. I had a big square table up in this uh room before and it took up way much too much space it was too big for this space so we downsized that into this um it's a kitchen island but it's fantastic for a craft room i love this thing i have one of my tall chairs that i had from my craft room in the downstairs craft room so i just bought a new cushion and put that there because what i love about this is that i could sit on one side and I can stand on the other and it has tons of storage and I will show you the storage section but just wanted to give you a quick view of this from this side and now let's move over to the other side so you can see what it looks like on the other side okay so this is my other side of my work desk I have tons of storage inside of this thing I don't have a lot of stuff stored inside of it but I have plenty of storage I have two cabinet doors that open up into a nice size uh, unit that has two shelves in it um, that is adjustable shelf so that we can move things around and then I have four drawers in this thing here so usually what I do is when I'm filming I'll stand on this side and then I can quickly reach into my drawer just to grab like a, an acrylic block or, or whatever. So I did pick this up now let me see if I can remember this came from Just Cabinets it's um, I don't know how many different locations there are Just Cabinets but our local Just Cabinets have this on sale so but the desktop the actual workspace I have is 24 by 48 inches. So it's a nice size length, not very deep, which is perfect for me. Um, I do have my uh, little, I think that's a Recollections um, unit, spinny unit that has all of my tools on it. I'm not gonna go through all of the tools because that pretty much hasn't changed um, from before. Let's see if before this battery dies, I can get through these drawers.
So just as I said, let's see if we can get through this before my battery dies and it died. So I charged it for a little couple minutes. So hopefully we can get through the remainder of this. This is my, um, the four drawers that come in this uh, kitchen island, which is now just my workspace. And in here, the top drawer, I keep things like my um, foam mat that I my use. Uh, most used inks along with some white ink and some stays on ink. I have my big roll which has now come down to a smaller size roll of my foam adhesive in there, as well as my acrylic box blocks, some baby wipes and my stamp cleaner is in here, my stamp cleaning pad is in here as well. So that's pretty much all I keep in this top drawer is my um, sort of tools board uh, drawer. I have my score buddy in here, which I'm so glad is more available in more places. I've had this thing for years and I absolutely love this thing and one of my highly recommended tools if you're a card maker to have. I have my Misty stamp press in here. This is the mini one. I keep that in the pads in here. My Tim Holtz tonic trimmer, which is a fairly new purchase, maybe about a year ago. I use this a lot with Project Life. I don't use it so much with card making because you can't do um, an eight and a half by 11 if I'm doing uh, a long ways card. And then I also have my Tim Holtz platform, which is the bigger size and a good um, supplement to go with the Misty. So I keep those in this drawer here. This third drawer is some odds and end tools, some of my um, punches that I did keep, which are my tag punches, my big circle punches, my fuse tools in here, as well as my date stampers and some circle punches, and um, a hole punch, and my extra Tim Holtz stapler, which is like a must have if you're into Project Life, or card making even. And then this bottom drawer are all of my punch boards. I have um, my newer punch board, which is the um, punch for the uh, planners, and I also have my frame punch board, my tap punch board, which I just did a review video on, and then my one, two, three punch board, and then my uh, new uh, tab or tag punch that is from Tim Holtz is in here as well. So that's the four drawers that are on the side of this unit. Again, um, love this storage, and I keep things in here as quick reach, especially for filming and doing project videos that I could just grab things really quickly. So this is the last section of my workspace. I keep um, just miscellaneous things in here. This is the top shelf. And in here is, hey, here's my silhouette. Uh, <laughs> oh no, this is my Epson. Darn it. I thought this was my silhouette uh, cameo cord. Anyway, this is my Epson um, paper ma picture mate uh, printer that I got for doing my Project Life photos so I don't have to use my big photo printer that takes eight cartridges. And then I also have some boxes and stuff from my phone, some photos, a roll of paper toweling. And then on the very bottom shelf, I just have extra things of baby wipes, uh, stamp uh, paper, extra photo paper, acetate, and some cheap cardstock that I got for when I'm doing my stamp storage. So that's pretty much all I have in here. Okay, so that is my crafting tour. I'm finishing up just in time because the battery is about to die on my camera. That is a lot of filming. I hope you guys enjoyed my craft room. This is just one final quick overview of my space. I really hope um, you guys enjoyed this and found some inspiration from my craft room. Uh, last time I filmed this, which was about two years ago, I wasn't completely settled in this room and I think all of the changes and the things that we we did in here definitely made a big difference and I am feeling very creative lately so I cannot wait to start working on holiday projects and definitely looking forward to working with my Cricut Maker because oh my goodness I have played with it already and I'm in love. All right everybody thanks for watching thanks for sticking around if you stayed to the whole um, outlook and view of my craft room. Appreciate all of you. If you're new to my channel, subscribe so you can be updated for new videos and give today's video a thumbs up. All right, everybody, check you in the next one. Bye.